Hi everybody, it's Robert Earl out here in the Eco Ranch in Far West Texas again and you can see I'm checking out the smoker today. Um, this is the day after the video where I showed the smoker completed. Uh, today I actually put in all the meat we had in cure and uh, some sausages and I've got some chicken wings. I had about a 10 pound pack of chicken wings from our own chickens here that uh, I'm going to cook and smoke later, but I'm actually gonna cook those. Right now we're doing a, um, uh, I guess you would call it a hot smoke right now. We're 162 degrees. That's kind of where I wanna be, right around 160 to 170 degrees. I've got um, something on the neighborhood of 70 pounds of meats in there. I didn't measure it exactly, but I've got some, some um, fresh kielbasa that we're smoking. We've got the um, Italian sausage that we're smoking. Thought I'd give that a try. I've got that javelina ham. Now, if you don't watch this video for anything else, watch it about smoking a cured javelina ham because I'll tell you, nobody else did it. And maybe there's a good reason, but we'll find out. But I've got that in there. I've got my regular ham in there. Um, and it's, it's, it's all hung. It's sitting at the level where the, um, where the, um, uh, temperature probe is. And it says 167 right now. I do have a way of controlling that, uh, knocking it down a bit. And we'll come back in a little bit when I open the door to check on it. For now, let's give it a couple more hours. Hey, hey, we're smoking. We are smoking. Look, take a look at that. And it's been running right around 200 degrees. A little hotter than I'd like, but 200's livable. Let's throw a little bit more wood in there. That's enough. Let's add a secret ingredient. Now, I really don't know how much flavor this adds. I do know how pecan smoked meat tastes. So we're going to try some pecan smoked meat with cactus paddles or your, if, you, if you live near the border and you're kind of a I live near the border snob, nopales, hey hey, we've tossed some nopales in. Smoke's working on blinding me. I think I'll give you guys a close look here at what's going oh, on. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that sausage. And the hams. We gotta close it up. Alright, nothing to do but wait, so let me shut it down. See you in a minute. I had to take the um, sausage out first and thought I'd just give you a look at the smoked sausage and uh, this is a smoked kielbasa, smoked Italian sausage and Debbie is just finishing tasting a piece, what do you think of it? Yummy! Yummy! That's from my worst critic so um, the sausage is a success, we're gonna package it up and put it in the freezer uh, bacon comes out next. Better than Kowalski. Ooh, that's saying a lot. Well we went and got the bacon out now I cut a couple pieces of bacon off. It's extremely lean bacon, but it is in fact bacon. It's um, it's uh, pork belly, smoked pork belly, and it is bacon. Next, we have the smoked ham hocks. Mmm, yummy. Well. The other meats were little short segments because I know everybody is waiting just like I am to see this thing. This is the smoked tavolina ham. How did it turn out? I don't know. It looks pretty good, but how does it taste? I guess there's only one way we can tell. I'm going to have to use my little secret taste tester again over here. Okay. There it is. Nice and pink like ham should be. Now remember, it's not a ham. This is that javelina that's got that truly unique taste. All right, this one's for Debbie to try. This one's for me. I'll let you know.
Okay. Like Andrew Zimmern here. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been waiting since he first got on the air to say that. Okay, here's the thing. Javelina meat tastes like nothing you've ever eaten before, and on its own, it was good. It was different, but quite good. When you take and make a javelina ham, this is a honey and pepper smoked javelina ham. It greatly improves the flavor, probably five or six times. Tastes a little piney. Debbie says it tastes a little piney. That's going to be the green peppercorns. With a citrus finish. Okay. It's not... Out of all the 200 videos I found, we know that, that all those things that they did for smoking was, quote, good eating. Nobody described it. Javelina smoked in this way is absolutely, positively delicious. Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to do more. I wouldn't hesitate to do the other pieces. Remembering it's not pork, I'd even try to do the belly into a, a javelina bacon. No resemblance to pork but it's a meat all its own. Uh, absolutely marvelous. If you, if you or your family have been shying away from it, if you've had a bad experience in it, um, with it, then learn how to clean it better because it's a clean, wonderful tasting meat. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it back in the smoker for a little bit because I can see that it's not done inside. I, I cut it down by mistake and I'm gonna put it back up. I'm gonna put it for three more hours in the smoker, but that outside that Debbie and I just ate was cooked absolutely perfect but it's chewy it is chewy that's a, that's wild game and again tell everybody you know it's edible hams later hi well it's the next morning uh, about 8 a.m i look like hell so you can, don't look at me hams are out and done um, i left them in because they just weren't quite done last night so you and I together are going to get a look at the first um, look at the meat for the very first time. If I blew it, you'll see it. If it turned out all right, well, <clears throat> you'll also see that. So let's just go right. Um, let's see. Let's go right down the center here. Oh my! Ooh! All right. Take that hunk right there out. Let's see what the ham tur- uh oh, that looks like a ham to me. What do you guys think? Does it look like a ham to you? All right, but the proof is right here always, isn't it? So let's take a little tiny, tiny slice right there. Give it a shot. Okay, it's dry and overcooked. Not badly overcooked, not badly dry. But the first time I've ever done anything like this, not a bad, not a bad deal. So, again, like I always say, if I can do it, you can do it, because nothing I do here um, is all that extravagant or, or requires a whole lot of skill. You just have to know, you just have to study it. So, here we are, I'm gonna put the rest of my ham away, maybe have a tiny bit for breakfast, and until next time, when we'll get back to the construction, I hope I've helped you out um, on how to preserve meat. This will keep a good long time. It's um, actually, you know what it was? Now that I'm sitting here, it's actually better than some of the really cheap hams you get on sale. So, not bad at all. Until next time, Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch. Bye for now.